excuse me. I think it was Wednesday. Um, we had a lot of stuff happen again. <laughs> I feel like Xenoblade is just like, we're just at the point in the game where I feel like there's just constantly things happening. It's hard to recap because there's so much happening. Just angry at what happened. Yes, I went on a I went on a rant about it. We were having a discussion about it. <sighs> it feels like we just played yesterday. I I wish I wish that it felt that way for me, but yesterday was such a busy day for me with work. I literally just worked all day yesterday. Like I didn't really take a lot of breaks yesterday. And I wish that it felt like it was just yesterday. <laughs> Uh. No worries, Dauntless. Good luck with the shopping and thank you again so much for the raid. If y'all once again are not following Dauntless, make sure to do so. I have known her for years and she's absolutely wonderful. Please go and show her some love. Okay, I'm just getting stuff ready real quick. Y'all introduced me to this song, which is an absolute banger. Like, hello? So good. All right, so we got to this new area. Um, I believe it's Zeke's hometown, this area. So. <laughs> yes, we made it to Tantal. There we go. Oh, I wanted to give an update to you. For those of you all watching my Xenoblade 1 playthrough on YouTube, um, I actually finished part five. <laughs> I just have to film an intro, and I'm working on the finale, which is, I, I think the finale is going to be over an hour long. Like, this, that game was so chonky. It's so hard to keep it, like, a normal size, especially for the finale of the game. So, I'm hoping to have both of those videos up this weekend, since they're, it's pretty much, fifth part's done, sixth part will be pretty easy. And I don't know, I don't know if people went like my, um, uh, my reaction to Future Connected. Does anybody, does anybody want a video of Future Connected? Because I have, obviously can do it, but I'm not sure if people want that. Jomar's little kitty feet burns in the snow, yes. Um, wait, what happened this morning? Uh, cat, it officially, today, um, this the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade. So we were uh, having a discussion about that. Okay. Oh wait, you know what? My Merc group. Well. Oh, you get to play Future Connected? Okay. Hi, Cryptic. Yeah, Future Connected was really good, but I will say that it's, in my opinion, it was more about Melia and, like, the conclusion to her arc than really anything else. I don't know if that, the information that, ha like, the things that happened in Future Connected will come into play in Xenoblade 2, because I feel like some people were saying that it was a good prequel for Xenoblade 2. I don't know. Um... But, like, I I just know that it was more, it was definitely more, like, Melia-focused. Hi, Magic! How are you? Actually, no, not this one. Not this one. Oh, you plan on playing it right before 3. It was, I really enjoyed it. I really liked Future Connected. As it should be. Aiden, how are you? How is your first full day of being um, a grad? Oh, is it because? Oh. I don't really want to do that. 
I guess I'll do this I'll one actually. I'll apply myself. I'll take care I won't of let you command. How's your first full day of being a brat? <laughs> the ardent lancers stand ready to smite evil. I wish we had someone like Bernie in here. We'll I mean, it's better than what we have, but so what lunch. did he say? She is the main character. Yep. You're very unemployed right now. Are you are you just going to be taking a break? Um, or are you actually like, are you looking right now? The way I'm getting, conf I'm like confusing myself. <laughs> I don't know why. Ah, uh, thank you, Magic. We're gonna be getting some. Uh, we're gonna be getting some Xenoblade emotes as well. Um, no, I am definitely not an artist. Frosty, what the heck? Thank you so much for gifting five subs. How are you? I mean, I think you're probably feeling the same way as, you know, everyone else. Very tired, very angry. <laughs> very, very scared. No, I, I hear ya. I absolutely get it. Uh, those of y'all that got the the subs, enjoy your emotes. Yeah, I'm I'm not an artist, definitely not. Um, but I have a wonderful emote artist. Uh, more emotes here on Twitch. He is incredible. He does all of my emotes, including my animated emotes. I think there's maybe like there's maybe like three or four that Mori hasn't done of my emotes, but like majority of my emotes are done by Mori. Hi, Blazer. Yeah, if any of y'all are Twitch streamers or, you know, looking for art or something, um, definitely hit up Mori. He's great. I've been working with him for years. Like, I don't even know how many at this point. It's been a long time. You're vanishing. No worries. Thank you for stopping by. Anon, you're downloading the eyeball. I, mine has not come in yet but it's out for delivery. So <laughs> I'm hoping that it'll be done by the time we're done with stream or it'll be it'll be here by the time we're done with stream today. <laughs> Wait, what happened? Everyone needs to vote in the fall. We got to fix the Senate. Congress can make it. Yeah, but that's the thing, Effigy, is I keep telling, I, I was mentioning that, but I feel like people are, there are people on social media and stuff who are, like, talking about, like, not voting or, like, they're getting tired of, of being told to vote. And it's just, like, there's not anything that else that we can do. I mean, we gotta. Or else it's just gonna get worse. We gotta. I hope I'm going the right way. To the B, to the U, to the B U S S Y. Eight months of submission. I was trying to do the um, was it Fergilicious? I forget. I forget what I song that was. Dulce, thank you so much for eight months. How are you? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, like, I don't know. I feel like people don't understand how, like, messy, like, our government is in in regards to like how much damage there's there's been to it and like we need to do so much to get certain people out it's like it's not going to be one like one election and then it's fixed like there's no way that's ever going to happen it's going to take some time but we can't give up Ready to attack. Okay. Fire 
And around election time, y'all will definitely be hearing from me. I will be advocating for y'all to make sure that you get your booties up, especially if you're in the U.S. Get your booties up. Um, no, I didn't see what happened with Disney. Please don't let it be bad. <laughs> what is happening? Hey. Oh, because she's you, warm. Do you? Um, mind? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. Oh my god. You're just so warm. I can't help it. <laughs> it's a function of what's known as infrared radiation. Gramps knows everything. I'm not your personal heater, you know? M my lady. If you desire warmth, why not take some from me? Miss Pyra seems to be in some distress. No way. <laughs> Your fur is all stiff and spiky with a cold. It'd be murder on my sensitive skin. It'd be murder. But, <laughs> my lady. <laughs> hey, is it just me? Or are the ether lines really dim? What is meaning of ether lines? You know, those things. The glowing threads that run inside a titan. That is the glow of pure ether coursing through the Titan's body. You can compare it to the bloodstream of a human. You've got good eyes. Genbu has pretty bad circulation compared to other Titans. Oh. They say it's why we have a cold climate and awful crops. He has poor circulation. So it's cold-blooded. Call it what you like. Is he supposed to be like a snake? Or like a reptile, maybe? I don't remember if I saw him. You haven't caught up with the last VOD stream. Oh no. I am a little bit behind on making collections as well, or like uh, highlights for my collections folder. So I'm so sorry. I think, I think I'm think i behind like maybe three days. So for those of y'all trying to catch up with the playthrough Just here on Twitch, I'm so sorry. I'm hopefully gonna start working on my YouTube videos for Xenoblade 2 next week though. Fingers crossed I can start putting those up on YouTube. Oh, okay. I mean, if if they're saying that he's cold-blooded, then he's probably some kind of reptile. He needs a heat lamp! Uh, no, Rat. I finished working on part five yesterday, actually. I just have to, I have to film an intro. Um, oh shoot. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I have to film an intro for part five for the first Xenoblade, and I, then I started working on the finale. So it is going to be a total of six videos for Xenoblade Chronicles, the first game. Um, and then the finale is going to be over an hour long because I simply can't keep it under an hour long. I can't. And I don't want to make a seventh video. <laughs> Time for a Zeke special. Yeah. Force. <laughs> um, how am I enjoying this game? I'm loving it. Well, naturally. The Xenoblade series has quickly become one of my favorite video game series ever. It's something I absolutely was not expecting. Was not expecting to love these games as much as I do, but here we are. Yeah, Future Connected. Um, I don't. I just don't know if people are gonna wanna wanna watch it. I don't know. I I, I might do a video for Future Connected, but I feel like it won't be very long. Is a problem. And 
to part six on a cliffhanger. I don't know. Are you are you referencing my uh, my Archon Quest videos? We need to find some tougher enemies next time. Quick! Will we have the advantage? Time to seek from Bring on the chaos! Yes, I haven't, I really have not seen anything for Xenoblade 3 except for maybe a, a teeny bit of combat. And that one Nintendo Direct where it was announced, I saw that, but I don't remember anything from it. And I already know it's going to be like one of my favorite games ever, probably. I just, I just know it. Oh, he sounds like Finn from Adventure Time? It's been a while since I've seen Adventure Time. Um, it's pretty important. Yeah, I know, but it's more of just, I need to see how long I can make that video. I just don't think it's going to be like worth me making a video as far as like I mean like I loved it obviously but there wasn't like I just feel like it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a 10 minute maybe less long video with the information that we got I don't know we'll see we'll see what have we here nice. we will see Very nice. Quick. Well, we have healing he ho oh yeah there is if anyone missed out, the Steam Summer Sale started yesterday, and I went in. <laughs> I bought I bought video games yesterday, <laughs> but I didn't get anything like huge. I mostly got a lot of indie games, so I already know that I'm gonna be busy with some other games, so I didn't want to get anything too wild. You have no job, no! Hi, Brom! How are you? Thank you so much for 90 months! Holy shit! How are you? It's so good to see you. Time for a Zeke special. Astounding. Enemy down. Did you see that? Amori! Yes! I actually bought that. We were awesome. I have been wanting to play that for a while. And I got some warnings from people, from quite a few people that said that there are a lot of trigger warnings. So I part of me wants to play it on stream, but I don't know if people want to see it. So maybe I won't play it on stream. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But I'm excited. I mostly got like, I think I got a bunch of visual novels and I think I got a couple of RPGs. I think, I feel like it was mostly visual novels that I bought yesterday though. Many trigger warnings for that one. Oh my God, how do I get up here? Help. Oh, 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 oh! Ah! Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's not the right way. <laughs> <sighs> Just do what we always do. Don't run in blindly, my lady. Ha! Break. Ha! No fighting games, no. I don't play a lot of fighting games. When I'm in the mood for a fighting game, then I'll play like Smash Brothers or Soul Calibur is another one that I really like. That's pretty much it. I don't really play fighting games. <laughs> Fine. Dynamite. Thanks, Doc. Make haste and retreat. Lion spot. 
Oh, this is for in the PS4. Nice. Your girlfriend woke up screaming about the news. Oh. I get it. I definitely do. Come on, let me get a let me get a let me get a chain attack now. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Oh, it's gonna die. It's definitely gonna die. Well <laughs> I was hoping to get some extra experience. Hi Cantaloupe! Going out with some friends today so I can't stick around. No worries! Cantaloupe, have a good one! I hope you enjoy your time with your friends. That sounds fun. I don't mind the trigger warnings, but I might have to lurk just experiencing for myself. Yeah, no worries. No worries at all. Yeah, honestly, like, I had heard about it for a while, Amori, but obviously Jer sold it for me. <laughs> because Jer likes it so much. And uh, Jer and I uh, <laughs> share an similar likes when it comes to games and anime and stuff. So I figured that it would probably, I'd probably dig it as well. He told me it's not as bad as Doki Doki Lit Club. So I mean, I played that on stream and we got through it. Morally obligated to play near Omori and Kingdom Hearts because of Jaren and Dulce. You should definitely play Kingdom Hearts. Yes. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. Yes. <laughs> Had other things I'd rather buy, so I never got around to it. Yeah. Oh my. This is the very picture of the ancient civilizations I've read about. It's a pretty classic look. You know the old land of Torna? This they is had a beautiful. Proud, civilization, rivaled only by Judicium at the time. But whereas Judicium were the masters of biological arts, Tornans knew all there was to know about engineering. The proud blood of Torna runs in the veins of us Tantalese. As there are people to pass it on to, civilization will endure. Knowledge is inherited, much like life itself. Nice quote. You should write that down. <laughs> Thank you. It's not that simple, though. Huh? Oh, the song is pretty, too. What the heck? You'll see. Beautiful! It's so pretty! Ah! Y'all, are these lyrics sad too? I would never play Doki Doki even if I got paid for doing so. It's a really, really heavy game. I love visual novels and the way they did that game was very unique, very compelling, but I absolutely do not recommend it to everyone because it is a very, very triggering game. Incredibly so. Narratively, it was great, but it does, there are some things where it's just like, oh, Oh boy, like I just I just don't feel comfortable recommending it to everyone. What have we here? I feel the nice. same way nice. about Doki Doki Lit Club that I do about the Dang and Rampa series, where I love the Dang and Rampa series. It's like one of my favorite series. But I'm not gonna recommend it to everyone because there are certain things in there where it's just like, oh no. Oh god, no. No no no. <laughs> 
Not gonna recommend this to people. <laughs> Whoa, that's a pretty lively market. It's the black market. Black market? Tantal is so cold. There's precious little in the way of local produce to sell. Just look. All the regular shops are shuttered. You're right. They're mostly empty. Instead, folks pay ungodly prices. Oh, no. For produce that's been smuggled in from other nations. And since it's the only thing keeping people from actually starving, the bigwigs just turn a blind eye. So most of the agricultural production is wasted just surviving, and the country grows weak. This is terrible. Exactly. So even the wisdom of a proud ancient civilization cannot solve all problems. Ancient civilization sounds good and all, but basically, this place is a giant museum with no tourists. That's not going to feed anyone. Damn, is that Brazil? Oh no. Being in a good place mentally and be comfortable indulging in media that is difficult and dangerous traumatic situations for its characters. Yeah. It, yeah. It's one of those things where not everyone not everyone is is either going to be able to like enjoy the type of narrative that like Doki Doki Lit Club has. It, probably for the same with the Mori too, right? Um and that's just based on triggers. It's absolutely understandable. I, I feel like I said I feel the same way about Danganronpa too. Danganronpa has a couple of things where it's like, I love that series so much, but I just can't. I don't feel comfortable recommending it to everyone unless I like really know them. So there are certain like series, game series, anime series where I'm just like, I'm not gonna recommend you my favorites unless I know you, know you. <laughs> Full of, yeah, mm-hmm. Shadow of the Lowlands, in case you want to, ooh, that's the name of the song. Oh, cool, before uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 came out. That's neat. I always advise people to do a mental checklist of how much of that stuff you've consumed in the last few months, yeah. That's why whenever we whenever we do anime nights, I pretty much always try and keep things well rounded. Um because I know that it's not like I'm neurodivergent, but I also know that there are other people in the community who are neurodivergent, so it's one of those things where I just try and keep things well rounded and um I've been using Does the Dog Die whenever I look for new I'm shows right. to watch with the community. So that's been helpful. We have been expecting you, your highness. Yeah, yeah. Good to see you. Is the old man inside? Indeed. He has been eagerly awaiting your return. Ha! <laughs> now I know you're lying. Our moves will fly before that man welcomes me home. I hope he's a daddy, no if you know what I mean. Me, mate. Apologies. Any case, seems he knows we're coming. That'll save time. Could it be? Are you all right? It's a circle. Yes. What are we, what? Tora? Uh, but why? It true. I'll be able to produce own reserves of ether energy, but I'll explain later. For now, just do as I ask. All right then. Leave it to Tora. Uh. What's going on? He got kicked out. Yeah. 
Definitely read, watched one too many dark narratives before and felt the drain of my mental space. Sometimes you might hear me look for upbeat recommendations because of that. Oh yeah, absolutely. And that's completely fair. Like, <laughs> like this last anime um, that we watched, everything I listed was slice of life, but somehow the most niche slice of life got picked. <laughs> That anime we watched was just so special. <laughs> Give me a daddy. Give me a daddy. Oh. I guess he's I guess he's daddy material. I like that he's not bowing. Oh yeah, okay. The Aegis, I presume. <gasps> Look at her little hair. Her wait, huh? Oh. God, my lady. Oh, I love it with her. I love her with no hat. Sorry. What the hell is going on? Shall I? No, no idea. Stop this at once. Damn. Hello? What is what is happening? Pyra! Not us walking into a trap! Pyra! Pyra! Stop this madness! What's going on? Rex and his lot haven't done anything! We cannot afford to wait until they do, Zeke. The world must not be allowed to burn! The Aegis must be destroyed. Oh, no, you don't. Dromak, let's get Rex up to there. Roger. The ether energy. Oh, no. <gasps> Please do not resist. My goal is only to destroy the Aegis. I have no wish to take your lives also. King Eulogimenos, I stand before you as a special envoy of Morardane. The Emperor sent me here himself. Do you realize what you are doing? I am quite aware and prepared to face the consequences. Prepared? What is happening? The way that I got a bunch of goosebumps, though. My God. Why? Why do you have to bump Pyra off? I see you still speak like a commoner. What? What's that got to do with anything? Don't change the subject. They don't look anything alike. What if I told you I act for justice? What are you trying to say? You could say, I'm doing this for all rest. Say what now? Follow me. <laughs> Those little voice crack. I'm going to get a blanket really quick. Th this is... This is the legacy of our royal line. You can't be serious. Huh? Why? Father, why? I don't understand what's happening, but he, but Zeke sounds so sad. Rex. Rex, it's not uh, honey. It appears the flow of ether energy is being blocked off. Damn it! While we're doing this, Pyra is... We have to do something! There is no point, Rex. You're just wasting your strength. Both the walls and floor are built to withstand great force. We cannot make a dent in them. Let's calm down a bit, Rex. 
If we think calmly, we'll come up with something. <clears throat> hey, you lot. Can you try to help us out here? Your efforts are pointless. The way they built this place, it's essentially one giant stasis web. Stasis web? Like those nets used in Torigoth. To lock drivers up together with their blades, and even leave us our weapons, they must have the utmost confidence. Perhaps we could break through given enough time, but by then it will be too late and the Aegis will be disposed of. Disposed of? That's all the more reason you should give us a bloody hand. I said it's pointless. <sighs> we won't get anywhere. With brute force, that is. Huh? So what now, my prince? This pisses me right off. Uh, say what? I said I'm pissed off. <laughs> Doing it for the world, my ass. How self-serving can you get? How do you mean? This country's strangling itself to death with its own web of lies and excuses. But just maybe our chum could break it free. Rex could? No faith, eh? Hey, whatever. If you believe in him, my prince, I'm with you all the way. I love her. That kid's heart is pure. Too pure for his own good, sometimes. But isn't it our duty as adults to give him a little help with that? Probably. You know, this is what I like about you. This won't be easy. Oh, quit it with your drama! When is anything ever easy for you? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I actually love everything about her. Like, her aesthetic is really cool. Okay, that should do it. Preparations complete. What's going on, Tora? Oh, both drivers and blades use ether energy to deploy arts, yes? You can skip the lecture, Tora. Everyone knows that. <laughs> but right now, friends cannot, yes? Yeah. There's something about this room. Oh, but Rex Rex and friends forgetting one very important thing. Hurry up, would you? Just spit it out, Furball. Could be friends forgetting Poppy is artificial blade? Why would we forget that? She's been with us all this time. Wait, I get it. Haritha Furnace. Rex correct. Thanks to friend Morag, Poppy now able to generate own supply of ether energy. Aww. Nothing Barrier can do anything about. Tora transfer crystal from Sword of Morag to Biter of Poppy. That crystal have enough energy stored for one use of arts. And Biter of Poppy use Earth Element. So, through synergy with Fire Element of Morag, power of arts is amplified. If we hit it straight on, I doubt the door can withstand that. Wait a minute. You stored energy in that crystal. How is that possible with a barrier? Aha! Lady Morag has not used a single art since we arrived in this place. Mm. I had my suspicions ever since we She's entered so the palace. She's so smart. So I secretly asked Tora to refrain from using any arts either. Oh my goodness, look at this teamwork. I oh. see now. If our enemy's new poppy retains her power inside the barrier, they would keep us on a tighter leash. Exactly. Here goes. Step back. Hold up! If you transferred the crystal from the sword, what will you fight with? I can generate a new one from Bridget's core. 
Don't tell me you didn't know about that. What? Seriously, you don't even know how Blade I mean, isn't work. he new? Give me a break. He's new here. How <laughs> would I know something like that? <laughs> I've never lost or broken my weapon. Then I suppose I cannot blame you. This is his first Moving year at along, Driver then. Blade School, okay? He's Cora, learning. Poppy, please. With pleasure. Poppy power. Jet fighter. Oh, snap, it worked. We did it. We the best. <laughs> you made quite some noise, too. It won't be long before the guards arrive. Good point. Lady Pyra was taken below. Mayhap somewhere beneath the palace? Got it. Oh, okay. So... Oh no, yeah, we lost Pyra. Um, I think we're gonna have... I guess we'll put Tora back in, actually. Actually, no, let's leave, let's leave Morag in. Wait, what the heck? Oh, can we only we can only have two? I'm so confused. Oh, include. Okay. I was wondering, I was like I see, I see. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, real quick, I'm gonna take a look at their stuff. I'm gonna try and do it like super fast because it does take a while to like level their stuff up. Wait, who is this one? I don't have that one equipped. He's already dead when Jin broke Pyra's sword in the beginning, yeah. Oh, I can do all three of them. I guess I need to give him a different blade? <laughs> yeah, I'll give him somebody different for now. Dun 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 I guess I'll just I'll give him uh Godfrey? Wait, didn't y'all say Godfrey wasn't wasn't the greatest? Maybe I'll just maybe I'll give him Who was I using on him before? Hey. I'll do that for now. Because I'm sure we're gonna get Pyre and Mithra soon. Or we'll we'll get her get them back, rather. <laughs> Godfrey is the greatest in my heart. Oh, they're not that great in general. Shield hammers. I see. I see. Evade enemy attacks during driver arts. Cool. It's like leaf bracer, but not healing. <laughs> Sorry, I just... If there's a chance that I can, I can compare a game to Kingdom Hearts, I probably will do it. Just so everyone knows, just a, just a warning. I will do it. Oh, 
Meet with Dragon Age. <laughs> Fifty percent chance to hit. Wait, to survive, hit with one HP. Oh, I don't have enough for that. Welcome back, what Scott. How was Waterburger? I miss Waterburger so much. It's not even funny. Didn't do half bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. So true. What did you get? The glasses girl shoot her shot with the big guy. <laughs> it's been like 15 years. Yeah. It's been so long. It hasn't been 15 years for me, but. I, I, I just really, I really want Whataburger now. I'm gonna do this one. That wraps that up nice. Okay. That's done. Let's put stuff in the pouch. Oh, I already have stuff in there for 10 minutes. Okay. Rude. Having this makes me real happy. Jalapeno cheeseburger. Oh, yummy. A patty melt. Yes. I remember the jalapeno burger as well. I also did the, um, I've talked about it before, Delicious. but they're, uh, they have their tenders, their chicken tenders with gravy. What the fuck? That shit's so good. All right. Oh wait, do I have enough for a second pouch for Nia now? I didn't look. We do. Cool. The tails on a Danian base sculptures are just the cutest. What did she say? <laughs> I don't know what she said. Done and dusted. I hope things went well. Stand by for rip. I wish I knew what she said. What's a what's a fatty melt? I'd be great on defense. This isn't even nearly enough. The tales of our day mean something. <laughs> I'll guard you all with my something something just the cutest. Getting better. Ooh. I can, I'll protect you. I think she said the tales on our our Danian bear sculptures are the cutest. Oh, very cute. I love her. I don't know if I've said it today, but I really love Mia a lot. Okay, understood. Just so everyone knows. I'll apply myself fully. Dang it, that one's in. Oh, okay, I guess. What's the plan, boss? No problem. Justice loving soul one plus. Do I have that? Do I have, I do. Oh my God, great. I'm not even using him right now. I'll do it. 
I imagine I'll fit right in. Oh, choose a blade to add as the leader. Okay. Um, Godfrey. From today, we're the bravest of the brave. Follow me, everyone. Good luck! A fatty melt is a patty that has grilled cheeses in place of bread. Oh, God. So that sounds very, like, it sounds delicious, but also, like, my stomach is turning. <laughs> I think it's me. Like, I'm lactose intolerant, so too, like, I love cheese, but too much of it, I know that I am not going to have a good time. <laughs> so like my dumbass will go in on like mozzarella sticks knowing that it's the worst decision ever yeah right oh you're gonna order oh, yeah show us on discord i'm intrigued where do you get that? Like from a specific restaurant or? So strong. Azurda has raised you well. She said Azurda has raised you well. That was so sweet. Oh, replace it with like lettuce, yeah. Is inspired by regional burgers around the. Oh, cool. We are going to Magic Kingdom tonight. And I think we're gonna eat dinner there, and I I need to figure out where where we're gonna eat today at Disney. I'm thinking about having these. Um, they have these really yummy corn dog nuggets in Magic Kingdom that are. Obviously, really yummy. And then they also have these cheeseburger um, wraps that are really good. I'm trying to decide what I'm craving today. Oh. Zeke, how are you? <gasps> Yay! Oh, what? We came all this way to bust you out. How inconsiderate. You kept us waiting. Won't you get in trouble for helping us? Oh, I'm the prodigal son, anyhow. It can't get any worse. <laughs> Where's Pyro? I simply do not this care. Way. Follow us. Zeke said it is what it is. My dad don't like me anyway, so... Well, I gotta put Zeke back at the party. <laughs> Hi, UK! Welcome back, Mystic! Yeah, Casey's Corner has really good corn dog nuggets. I haven't had those in, in like a, a hot minute. And then um, I want to say Sleepy Sleepy Hollow has um, what is it that they have that's really good? Besides, they have um, what do you call it? They have funnel cakes. But they have something else that, that's really good, too. Someone has redeemed pronouns in chat! If you would like to and you feel comfy, go ahead and tell us your pronouns. This is a way to help normalize introducing ourselves with pronouns. And if you're someone who's experiencing new pronouns, it's a safe place to do so. Mine are she, her. We also have a lovely pronoun extension. Apparently, I'm Southern. <laughs> extension that we use. That's free to install uh, by BTTV. <laughs> I 
Every now and then, I, my brain is like, why don't we just, why don't we talk in an accent? That's not ours. <laughs> why don't we use an accent, Lori? <laughs> it just seems, seems fun. Seems quirky. Uh, am I going to be streaming the live letters? Yeah, I have never streamed a live letter before. Yeah, because usually they are very, very, very early. Hey, the only thing that I've done early stuff for has been Genshin. Um, I feel like I could possibly... Uh, maybe not, actually. I think Discord will probably be the better place for uh, live letter discussions. It's just really early, and now that I work my job, it's it's even harder for me to stream, like, things in the mornings like that. Unless it's, like, on the weekend, so... But yeah, they end up being really long, too. So... I've been I've been a part of the Final Fantasy XIV community for a very long time, but I have never once streamed a live letter. Just, it's just so early. Whoa! Yeah, like I know there's other content creators that do it, and that's totally fine. But I just not for me. <laughs> I think the the main content creator that I recommend for live letter stuff is um, Mr. Happy. Bye, Top Water. Thanks for hanging out. Did you see that? Uh, what time do I get up for work? So usually I'm up by 8. Between 8 and 8.30 is when I um, sign in for work. And I work, I, I'm permanent work from home. Yeah, um, Haps has been doing live letter stuff since the very beginning. He's he's great with it. I think he has his own translator and um he's great. Highly recommend. Look at the summary, it's usually really late. Yeah, it's it's so early or it's really late for some people. Which is fine. Oh, I gotta go down here. Okay. You're picking a fight with us. You're off. Yeah. Oh, we can do it. Keep it up. I'm on a roll. Yeah. Now it gets interesting. Oh. Thunder beam. Dulce can do matches on next Bar Dairy. Let's go! That's so exciting! Can't wait! We're all amazing. Yeah, he finished yesterday, right? Ow, 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 ow. You all right? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Honestly, though, chum, are you ever not getting scratched up? <laughs> Ever since Pyra gave me half a life force, and we swore to reach Elysium, things have been rough. But... Oh! I'm actually glad. They feel like a sign of our bond, I guess. Oh Something my special God. we share as Driver and Blade. You make that face. 
Bye, Dulcie. Yeah, just stay away from spoilers. <laughs> it's marriage and we share. Um, for my hometown, we're getting a brand. Oh, a better, faster internet. Nice. That's awesome, UK. Honestly, is it um? I don't know if I'm the only one, but I really don't hope that blind. maybe one day Monolith Sauce, if they do like a mobile game. I know that's probably not a lot of people want games with gacha systems and stuff, but I think having a gacha like Xenoblade would be really fun. I don't know. Sometimes I... Can someone get me up? Thank you. Anyway, that was so random of me to just die like that. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, I was thinking it'd be all, maybe, but like, the way that I'm like not, what is going on? Just wondering if everything's okay right now. Okay. So maybe I should have been paying a little bit more attention there. <laughs> Genshin level of product? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm wanting. Like I said, I know not everybody would probably like dig that, but I think it'd be kind of cool um, to have like a Xenoblade gotcha thing. I don't know the timeline of all of, of the games, but like, I don't know, having them available. Kind of like, I guess, the way that maybe Fire Emblem does it with Fire Emblem Heroes, maybe? We need to find some tougher enemies yeah, from all Xeno games? I'd waste all my free much ups on Nia, so would I. Um, a warrior style Xenoblade game with gacha? Okay, that would be really cool. Alright, here we go again. We're paying attention this time. Standing man emoji for a second there. I don't know. I literally don't know. <laughs> Zeke, Zeke, get it together. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> uh, Takahashi's friends with Nomura and plenty of artists. I can see that happen if they want to. Yes. I only played the first one. I don't remember anything, but it being a movie. Yeah, I, w I really want to play um, Xenosaga as well. Where? Strung up in some kind of restraint. Look ahead. Oh. An ether accelerator. Oh. I've seen one like it before in old Torna. It certainly seems like they want us gone for good. 
So, if we crank up the output and really focused it, we could probably manage one strike. If the people here really are the descendants of the Tornans, then I have a message for them that I must pass on. In that case, I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Mithra. He's here. I apologize for this, noble Aegis. I have no personal grievance with you. However, for the sake of this world, you must be destroyed where I you feel stand. Like, I feel like this is another Eggle. Is that truly your desire? And your like Zanza situation. I believe you desired the same thing yourself once. Where is that not why you disappeared from history? Yeah. Along with Adam the hero. Where he's like, I'm just trying to make it stop. Begin. Not that it's okay, but you know. Hyra! Rex! Oh, her little the smile. Accelerator. The what now? <laughs> the what it's now? A weapon from long ago. Designed to use Genbu's ether energy for destruction. I never dreamed they'd fully restore it. My old man. He's gonna use it to kill Pyra. No matter how strong she is, there'd be no coming back from that. In that case, we can't let him use it. We're gonna beat up the machine again. We've beaten up a lot of machines. Oh wait, okay, maybe not the machines yet, but the knights first. Yeah, I would like to play Xeno Xeno Gears as well. Uh-oh, 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 uh oh, oh my god. Oh my god. So Not the evasion. What? That was so much. It might be time for a tank. That was so scary. I thought I was. Mm. <laughs> I thought I was in trouble. Ah, there's too many of them. Hurry, or pirates toast. I know that. It's just. Forgive me. No! I won't let you. Can we get some help? Oh my god, he just stabbed it. It's not enough. Poppy, activate QT mode. Lift up from below. Understand? <gasps> Let's go teamwork. I love it when friends work together. It's my favorite. Oh my god, that was so close. 
Uh. Oh, uh. Okay. Is that bad? Or no? Or does it not matter? As long as it doesn't hit anything, right? <laughs> Oh my god, look at I Zeke! Love. He's oh I love him. Oh, her little smile is so cute. Five hundred years. For five hundred years, we Tantalese have concealed the Omega Feta. Do you know why? Um our old homeland. Torna was destroyed in the Aegis War. Our hero, Adam, also failed to return. You must understand, old Torna as a country was united around the hero, but our ancestors less so. What are you saying? That we're not Adam's bloodline? Precisely. In Torna, our family were just a cadet branch. We only gained our current position in the confusion of the war's aftermath. But then, we're just a bunch of usurpers! Mm. They were desperate times. Mm -mm. We had no choice. The nation must continue at all costs. Even if it meant claiming Adam's name. With its guiding force gone, much blood was spilled in Torna. We did what had to be done to reunite it under the new banner of Tanta. Legends of the hero who saved the world are deeply ingrained in people's hearts. And you used them for your own political agenda. Even so, all was done in the name of saving the world from burning once more. Don't you dare try and sugarcoat it. Short story is, they saw an opportunity to gain influence and they took it. Gah! That is the way of the world. I mean, not really. Mordain could easily take a similar path. Yes, we are in no position to condemn them outright. So did this Adam guy really never return? Indeed. The records indicate he went missing immediately after sealing away the Aegis. It is likely he simply perished during the journey home. He didn't just go missing. What did you say? Aegis? Adam. He had foreseen everything. He knew what would happen to the people after the kingdom fell. But he chose not to return. Adam left us of his own will. But why? Oh, what? Hear me, my science. I am Adam Origo. This day I seal the Aegis, away from the world. But this seal is not for eternity. In anticipation of the day that humanity becomes worthy of the Aegis's power, I entrust her to posterity. She is our hope. Very Obi Wan. When mankind has matured and learned to live better lives, she will answer your call and return to you. Trusting that day will come, I leave my final wish to you. Interesting. I love that was in that was in her earring. <laughs> Adam foresaw much confusion and hardship in the world ahead. And when I seemed unsure, he told me something. This is a trial.
Is me sleeping a part of the trial? That's right. It is a trial for us humans, one we must overcome ourselves. If we cannot do that, we don't deserve to live alongside you. What? What? Live alongside? To be honest, I still don't fully understand what he meant by that. Whether he simply meant the coexistence of humans and blades, or something more. But I think he made a difficult choice. For the sake of everyone's survival. Whoa. Your Majesty. What is this? It's Genbu. It's broken free of our control and started to dive into the clouds. Huh? What? Are you certain? <laughs> Pandy! Oh, oh no! What exactly is happening? Could it be that blast? The fuck? What is he? Tantal keeps Genbu under control using the Omega Fetter. But firing the ether accelerator. Oh. <laughs> it could have created a counterflow in Genbu's ether conduits. Oopsie. Critical overload. So Genbu's broken. Oh no. My words can't reach him anymore. Genbu is just going to dive deeper and deeper. Then. Domo, git! That's what happens when you use antiquated parts. Some old git. The cloud sea has a similar density to water. As we dive, the pressure will keep building. By 500 peds, a human would be crushed completely. Oh. And all that force will weigh down on Genbu? What's our depth now? 2,200 peds, sir. We are diving at a rate of Aye. 120 oh. peds per minute. That's and so Genbu's bad. depth limit? 25,000, give or take. That'll give us just over three hours. Whoa, Shell, it's good enough. <laughs> Bite me. <laughs> oh, my God. You said good. Hey, chum, there's a pressure resistant pod in the palace's southern tower. You guys at least should get in and escape. What about you and everyone else? Don't worry about us. How can I possibly not worry about you? No! Isn't there any other way? Some way to save everyone? Only Pandoria can tell Genbu what to do. If it won't budge for her, it's no use. Apart from that, all we can do is try to evacuate as many people as we can. But with just three hours. I think you mentioned before. You control Genbu using the Omega Fetter, right? Uh, yeah, but... Where is it? Inside Genbu's head. It's straight south from the palace, through Genbu's spinal column. I will go. You'll go? Pirate, what are you... The Omega Fetter is originally Ophion's control core. And Ophion... Is my artifice. I can't be 100% sure, but I think I might be able to fix it. Pyra? Pyra being serious? They tried to kill Pyra one minute ago? That's a totally separate issue. Isn't that what you'd say, Rex? <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. I guess it is. And that's why. Friend Pyra. Tora get it. Then Tora and Poppy also lend help. Looks like we're in too, Drumak. I would have it no other way. <laughs> that's settled then. Stay out of our way, old man. Got it? <laughs> you and all. 
Risk your lives for this. For the sake of Tantal, though we attempted to destroy the Aegis. It's not about Tantal. Then why? You're a king, right? You ought to be able to figure it out. Damn. Rex, you are... Morag? You leave me little choice. <laughs> Zeke, where was the fetter again? How do we get there? I won't just tell you. I'll take you right to it. Zeke? Don't talk to him. Save it, old man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> start on evacuating the people. Don't talk to him. Though with us on the case, your efforts are probably going to be wasted. Oh my god. Understood. No time for chit chat. Let's go. Yeah. I love them so much. Oh my god. Also, yeah, Rex is getting, I feel like he's getting so much better. Like, I don't know, like his leadership skills are popping. Like they're just coming out. All right, now the path to the Omega Fetter isn't an easy one. This city, Theosaur, Swar, Swar, is positioned a long way above the Genbu Drifts. If you head out the palace and down to the left, you'll see the ruins of a, a place called Theospiti Temple. Ruins, even though inside city? Yep, they really are ruined too, practically rotted away. Anyway, past the temple ruins is something called the Theoswar Rear Gate. We head out through there. Then we have to follow the pillars a long way down. Erg, sounds like a pain in the arse of a journey. But must be quick, quick. Come on, friends. To Genbu Drifts. Hey, I'm not done yet. Once we get to Genbu Drifts, we have to head access. Head, head across it. <laughs> That gets us to a place called the Great Pillar Passage. The Omega Fetters at the end of that. Sound too long. Tor already getting tired just listening. Too soon for getting tired, Master Pawn. This is no time for joking around, Tora. We have to give this our all to protect Zeke's home. Of course. Right, let's all do what we can. Thanks, guys. I owe you big time. So first, we head out of here to the left. Got that? Head out here to the left. Okay. The game is literally telling you where to go. I hope I can remember. Hey, us again. I hope you will be the bearer of good news. Head out to the left. Um, hey, Wooch, Woocho, Woocho, welcome in. Oh, everyone gets lost here. Okay, good. <laughs> it's not just me, or not going to be just me. Hopefully, we shall see. The wind is my mate. One to two hours? You know what? That's fine. Whatever. I wonder what we will find. Wait a minute, maybe I went the wrong way already. <laughs> hey, Rally Ali! Did I go the wrong way already? Maybe it's left this way? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Okay, left the other way. Okay. Pinged for work. Hold on. Strong to his glory, he comes now. 
It won't directly show you the way, which is why people got lost. Oh, okay. That doesn't seem like the right way. <laughs> I can't believe it's already happening. This was ordained this by is an Saga Saki! Saga Saki, thank you so much for 13 months. I really appreciate that. I hope you have a blessed Friday yourself. How are you? Go back where you first went to and go down the stairs. Okay, so I'm here. Go down the stairs like here is what you mean, or go down the stairs here? Or maybe, am I supposed to go this way? The part where the airflow was. Okay, so I was, oh God, where was that? <laughs> uh. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. Okay. One second, y'all. Got some work stuff going on here. Xenoblade Impact to be released. Hi, Tay. It's a rough day. Yes. I hear ya. I hope you're doing okay. Give me one second, y'all. I just gotta answer a work thing real quick. Should take me like 2.5 seconds. Give me a sec. We're good. All right, so I am back at the f the flow thingy. Me trying to find my way to the bathroom at 3 a.m. Uh, okay, and then I go down the stairs. These stairs right here. Rat, I'm glad that you're able to get Somnium files. Um, going the right way, right? Here. I'm derived. Oh, <laughs> perfect. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. My Somnium Files copy is not here yet. It's supposed to be here. Um, soon. Let me see if there's an update. Cute! 
excuse me. Just out for delivery. I forget how to see where they are. Where the the Amazon truck is in your your area. Well, yeah, should be here soon. Tantal music is so good. It's so good. Thank you. Uh, no, I definitely will. I will be taking pictures for sure. <laughs> um, if it gets here before the stream ends, then I will unbox it on stream. If it doesn't get here before, or if it gets here after stream, then I'll unbox it for Fan House. I got the I got the collector's edition. So the collector's edition comes with an art book. It comes with um, a figure, and I think it comes with something else, but I can't remember what. Yeah, um, so normal streams are from th from 12 to 3 p.m. Eastern. Hello? Uh, I do stream in the middle of my work day, so, um, thankfully my job is really cool about that and I can do that. Uh, but if y'all miss the announcement, don't forget that I am going to be doing a 12-hour stream. Um, oh god, I messed that up. The way that we are out here struggling. Hold on. <laughs> Did he say good to hear that sweet foul mouth again? stream isn't tomorrow. The 12-hour the stream is next weekend. We are, um, so I chose to do it next weekend because, uh, it's a long weekend for me. I have Monday off from work, so I figured it'd be good. That'd be, like, the perfect time. <laughs> it's a new day, everyone. Good morning. The small Rising combat, yeah, yeah, the small combat lines are cute. Soundtrack, art book, and Leave figure, and alternative for box art. Ooh. Aching, so. Yeah, it was only like, I mean, for all of that, you, I think it was like 150 for, for the collectors. So, which in my opinion is not bad at all, considering everything that you get. Obviously, if you really like the game, then it's like you get a bunch of stuff. So and. I'm very much a gremlin type of person, and I like to get collectors and special editions for games that I either know I'm going to really like or games that I I really like. <laughs> so. Earth, grant me strength. Um, <laughs> hello? Who, do, who is that? Wolfric, okay. Grant me strength. So I have to get level three for this? Pardon me? <laughs> Excuse me. What even? What was it? It was like wall jump or something, right? What the heck was it? Oh, it's optional. Okay, okay. 
for another place to Oh, okay. I'm not going the right way, okay. <laughs> So I'm not going the right way. Cool, cool. <gasps> yeah, we're doing some stuff this weekend, but um, I think I'm still gonna be able to get a good chunk of time into Somnium Files, which yeah, I haven't said, but happy Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative Day for anyone that also very much loves this series. Very exciting. Such a great game. Oh, going down without falling, okay. posted it in Discord, but for those of y'all not in my Discord, I did post that Kotaku is back at it again, and they are now calling Xenoblade 3 a messy, I think they said it's a messy RPG or something like that. They did a, they did their, like, review, and they called it a messy RPG. And I, I didn't want to read too much of it because obviously I'm trying to, like, not I don't want to go into the game knowing too much, basically. But from what I saw, they, like, don't like the fact that there are a lot of menus. Like, that was, like, one of the things that they mentioned was that there's a lot of menus. And it's like, okay? Like, personally, I think it's really unique that Xenoblade has so many different, like, little things that you can do with your party members. So, and I, I can only imagine that they probably made things better in Xenoblade 3, but I, you know, I think they brought back the Collectopedia from Xenoblade 1. They have the affinity charts. I don't know. I just feel like it's very, like, nitpicky. You're so excited for Xenoblade 3? Me too! A massive, messy... RPG, like, hello? Left years ago? Oh, the guy who did the, um, the DQ11 review. I know, I think it's, I personally like it when you have a very customizable playthrough of a game like this. I don't see, this I don't know, it's more, so it's obviously scary. gonna be like more for you to have to like micromanage, but it's not, I don't feel like that makes it messy. I just feel like it makes it more interactive. I don't know. Especially Xenoblade 2. Yeah, and you know what, the thing is too, and I don't wanna be the type of person to like i i understand because i've i've mentioned it as i play through this game that i don't think i think that there are some things about xenoblade 2 that could have been done better especially after playing uh the definitive edition for the first xenoblade um like having to go to this your actual affinity I'm chart sure. menu to actually have things be active is is really strange to me and hopefully they fix that they fix that in xenoblade 3. So like I'm not saying that Zen that like the games are perfect, but I feel like their main thing was like there's too many menus. Like I don't uh, like it's like 
If you have criticisms, that's different, but I feel like that's such a weird thing to complain about. I don't know. Fuck me up, guys. No don't game is perfect? Back. Yeah, absolutely. And that's why I'm saying... Am I fighting a UM? <laughs> Oops. Anyway. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely. And it's just it's just one of those things, though, where I just feel like that being one of their main complaints is just really strange. It's like there's nothing wrong with a, a game, a single player game being more customizable. Like, that just seems really silly to me. I wonder how brown eyed oh, Corbin come back. Now it gets interesting. The is on fire. Are we still able to hit Corbin? <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, I wonder how brown eyed Corbin is. So, <laughs> I mean, I think we're all still able to to hit it. Awesome. Oh, they said the game's repetitive. How is it repetitive? Like I said, I didn't, I didn't read everything. I, I didn't want to, but I don't know. Sorry, sorry about that, Rags. You're dying. Please don't be dead. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Okay, okay, I need I need the cheat sheet again. I, which one should I use? I for need the cheat sheets. What's the cheat sheets? Someone tell me. Uh would it be like would it be like fire? Ice beats wind. Wait, so then I use wind? Water beats fire. Water beats fire, that makes sense. Okay, so I use okay. <laughs> Boreas. Okay, so I use Boreas here. Sweet. Okay, then we need water. Uh-oh. I guess I'll just use rock or something. Hit it, no! My bag. Oh wait, no, I broke it. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Um Does it matter here? It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter, okay. Take this! That was so close. Let us settle this. Let's go! Look at me! Don't mind if I do. Time to show what I can do. Superb. Time for a Zeke special. <laughs> this is literally the most rewarding battle system I think I've ever played. Like, no joke, y'all. Can we just hurry up and do it? Time for a Zeke special. No pressure. 
Magnificent. It is so much. Ah, look what I did! Hello? What's happening? Why? <laughs> Where'd they come from? Um. Please. Rex? I don't even know where Rex's body is. No, 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 don't call more ads. Why would you do that? What? Am I about to die? <laughs> I just did some cool shit and now I'm gonna die. Hurry up! The way this is such a mess. No, why is that all the way down there? Idea where Rex is. Enemy down. Did you see that? Rex. Nice work, everyone. You know what? It got done, so it's fine. <laughs> when did it get so late? Oh, and I've started glowing. I'm literally in the same area that I, I've been for the last like 30 minutes. I have no idea. I'm trying to figure out how to get down. No one tell me. I'm figuring it out, I think. Maybe. Uh, Rex is probably above the ledge. Oh, he fell off the cliff. Ah! Uh, saying the battle system is too slow and unrewarding. Were people saying that about two? You should try stacking three to four orbs. Yeah, no, I I really like this combat a lot a lot better than I liked ones, and I thought ones was really fun. But in my opinion, I feel really rewarded from this combat. Leave it to me. I know quite a bit. In my experience. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> yeah, I am playing on, I don't know if this makes a difference too, but I'm playing on, um, what do you call it? On casual mode. So I feel like I'm killing things obviously faster due to that. This is probably not the right way.
Great to be caught as off guard. Yeah, I was concerned about how much time I would have if I played on um, normal. So I am playing on casual. I think casual, easy. I don't know what's called in this one. But I will definitely say, in comparison to the first Xenoblades casual mode, the casual, like casual mode for Xenoblade 2, like. I feel like you still have to have a very like basic understanding of how the combat system works. Like it doesn't even matter if you're on easy mode or whatever, or casual. It's easy, okay. Um, on easy, it, it doesn't seem to matter if you don't understand how the combat system or the battle system works. So, uh, unlike the first Xenoblade, where like I didn't really get it that well in the beginning, but I was still able, like, all of the fights were so simple. Like, I don't think I had any issues with any of the fights. Maybe, like, one. But, like, even on easy mode here, like, I, it's still, I still have to, like, focus and stuff. I know that when I stream Xenoblade 3, though, Xenoblade 3, I am absolutely going to be playing on, like, normal um, difficulty for that. Just do what we always do. Ready for action. Core is ready? Oh, okay, cool. So I can use that on anyone? Oh, more rag. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see. She got it from her little brother. That does make sense. Aegean. Whoa. Let my sword be your safeguard. Cool. The king of common blades. He looks so cool though. <laughs> um Should I take out Wolfric? Uh, yeah, I yeah know. I thought he was a common blade too. Yeah, okay. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Hello there. Yeah. Hello there. The first the game first came out, every time you pulled a common blade, you'd see the animation. Oh no. Obi-Wan was really good. Oh, it was so good. Highly recommend. You know another show that I highly recommend that I just got back into watching? 
Effigy and I started the show like months ago, but we finally are getting back into it now that a bunch of shows are ending and I am caught up on some shows. Um, 85, the anime. I just, I cannot believe how well done this anime is. It's like incredibly amazing. It's literally a masterpiece. I'm, I'm actually shocked. I don't know if anyone in here has seen it, but it's very good. Oh, it's, it's really good. It's another anime though. That's like, it's a show that's really heavy. Like the, it's called 86, right? Like it's literally just called 86. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, it's another, it's a show that deals with some pretty heavy themes. And, uh, yeah. I don't know if I can really say, I'm not gonna really say like too much about it, but it has to do with like war and stuff. Um, and it's really good. Hey, Phantom Knight! Yeah, but it's really good. Like, the animation, I, I think it's by A1 Studios. Animation is beautiful. Like, it's a gorgeous show. The characters are phenomenal. The music is incredible. Like, I'm just, I'm, I'm amazed by it. Like, literally amazed by it. Yeah, if anybody wants to add it to their list, I it's literally the the show that I like if you're if you have me add it on Annie list, I didn't even realize Zeke was dead. <laughs> it's the show that I I just watched episodes last night, so Hey, Dromark. You were kind of useful back there. Which if anybody does use Annie list and you want to add me to that site, exclamation point Annie list. And or sorry, anime <laughs> exclamation point anime, and um, you can add me. I'll add you back as a friend, so we can see what everyone is. We can see what each other's watching and stuff. Am I caught up with Kaguya? Yes, I am. There's only one more episode. Wait, did the did the newest episode air today or is it tomorrow? I can't remember the the last episode for this season. <laughs> Either today or tomorrow. Hello? How do I get over there? <gasps> You're gonna start 86. Oh my god, Pidge, please. I wanna talk about it with you. Um. That's pretty rude. <laughs> Personally, I think that's really rude. Personally, oh God. <laughs> ah, I see what you what you did there, game. You tr you tried to trick me and think that there was no way. <laughs> A1 works on a lot of good projects, yeah. I've already added a new uh, figure um, that's on my wish list from 86. <laughs> I want it very badly, it comes out next month, but pre-orders are closed, so I gotta hope what that they get some here? more stock. Nice, very nice. You're picking a fight with us? You're yeah. 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 You finish some other anime? Yeah. I watched, uh, I just, I just watched the first, I finished the first season of, uh, Kuroko's Basketball, which was really good. That was great, too. That's, like, a very easy anime to watch when I'm working, or, like, working out, so... Nice chill show, but not because it's so dramatic. 
Uh, executioner in her way of life. How's that? What is that about, actually? Whoa. Rude. I'm sorry, Rex. <laughs> Uh, got it. Come on! I'm literally trying to get him up! The way I have no idea which one we're attacking. Oh, this one over here, okay. What happened? Don't go on. Prison school, what's that about? Won't lose again. Maybe yeah, cat, I already went in on the Steam sale. Did it put me where did it put me? What the fuck? Where am I? Leave it to me. In my experience. I bought like, um, I, I want to say I bought like eight games yesterday from the Steam sale, but I only, I only ended up spending, I think I spent like maybe 70 bucks. Actually, maybe it was more like 11 games because Effigy gifted me some too. And it was only like, like I only ended up spending 70 bucks, which isn't bad for the amount of games I got. Oh, it's an oh, it's an et, it's an etchy. Okay, <laughs> not those. Oh, you do hope it has a season too. Nice. Yeah, there's an eShop sale too. Wait, which what games? They keep toppling me, and personally, I think that's really mean. If they could stop doing that, that'd be like so great. Not them about to kill me again. Oh, <gasps> get Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I played that when it came out. Oh my God, I loved it. it I don't think it's gonna be a favorite for everyone. I really don't, but if you like JRPGs, you'll really like it. Tokyo Mirage Sessions is really good. I love that game. I loved that game. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah, Iroh, I think you'll like it. I think you'll enjoy it quite a bit. What is going on? Why do I keep getting overwhelmed? Your backlog is huge. Okay, but I feel that so much. I like I am well aware that I have a ginormous backlog, but I still bought games. <laughs> No way! I can't reach that potion! That's so mean! Um... Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. It's as good as done. 
We can hit Jet him. Yeah. I feel like I have Grandia. Gra Grandia? Grandia? What is going on? All right, all right, all right. We're back in business. It's downloading. Let's go, Iro. I'm excited to hear what you think. Cause I feel like that that game went under the radar for a lot of people. Because I want to say that around the time that game came out, a lot of other games either came out or like were coming out. So people bought it and they didn't play it or or something. So like honestly, there's not a lot of people that like I know that actually have played it, <laughs> which stinks. Cause it was a good game. I enjoyed it. You can count on me. Near Near's on sale. I think I think time. Replicant's on sale. I don't know about automa Automata, but I know Replicant is on sale for sure. The new Fire Emblem Warriors, but I need to save your you need to save your money. Yeah. I'm gonna be skipping Fire Emblem Warriors for now. I'm gonna wait until it goes on sale. I'm going the right way. Yeah, I don't know. That's that is really strange that Automata is not on sale, but Replicant it is because Replicant came out after Automata. No idea. Sea of Stars. I can't wait for that. That's another game I'm really stoked for. Quick, well, we have the advantage. Don't run in blind. No, you don't have to play Automata first. With our spirits high, there's nothing we cannot overcome. Technically, Replicant was before Automata, but they just remastered it, essentially. Alexa, stop. Yeah, Sea of Stars is going to be very good. I am so excited. Uh, that's the one. Sea of Stars is the one that's supposed to be like kind of like a love letter to Chrono Trigger, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrono Trigger is one of my favorite games ever. Finish. Did you see that? Playing Replicant first is actually recommended. See, I can see that. I can see because I actually did play um, uh, Replicant. Well, actually, it wasn't. I don't think it was called Replicant when I played it. I think it was like near Gestalt or something like that. I played it on the Xbox 360 back in the day, way back in the day. And yeah, for continuity purposes, I can see why people would say that Replicant should be first over Automata. You've never played Chrono Trigger. Oh my God, it's so good. It is like literally one of the best JRPGs ever. Hands down. I dropped my contact lens. That's not the first time either. Are you sure you should be dropping it that much? <laughs> Don't laugh at my prince. He keeps needing new contacts and so we end up poor. What? <laughs> oh my god. They're so I funny. What we will find. 
uh, why Square doesn't remake it. You know, I mean, they, I guess they still could. You're picking a fight with us. You're on. But I mean, honestly, I'm going to say that if you if you want to play it like it holds up like it really does. And it's just I don't know. It's just classic. Like it's a classic JRPG. And if you're a fan of JRPGs, like I behoove you to try it. <laughs> just my just my recommendation. It's just it's so good in so many different ways. is really really good and it just it continues to hold up after all these years even the music too like it's still probably one of my favorite video game soundtracks of all time even after all these years like it's just it's just so good oh you find it weird that it doesn't get attention yeah Maybe one day. Finish. Does Pandora need glasses because Zeke needs glasses? Maybe! That would be so cute. Okay, but keeping my fingers crossed for a Xenogears remaster. That would be amazing. I would love to play that series. Awesome. Cool. I hope it is something good. Yeah, I've seen the fusion combos before. They're cool when it happens. This is an area. I think I went the wrong way. Flora heals an aching soul. Perfect. Yes. It it really is, Gladio. That's like such a great description. Like that that is a great description of it. <laughs> because it really does feel like a good mixture of like Toonami and Final Fantasy. Feels like, feels like Toonami. Perhaps I can be a... That's what, call on me anytime. Nope, this doesn't seem like the right way either. But it's okay, we're getting some exploration in, I guess. See, I thought it was because I was going down. Okay, let me try going up. Can we get to the bottom of, of Tantal before the stream ends? Oh! Nine minutes, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think so. Mitch, Mitch, Stronger. Wild side. Yep. Let me do it. Electric. Oh, so speaking of JRPGs, y'all don't let Liv a live go under the radar, okay? 
Don't let that go under the radar. I know that, I know that unfortunately, unfortunately it's like a week or maybe a week after Xenoblade 3 comes out. Don't let that go under the radar. Like just buy it and then just play it later. But hopefully it does well in sales. But I, I think a lot of people are worried that the sales are not gonna do very well because it's coming out literally like around the same time as Xenoblade 3, which is really unfortunate. Yeah, the week before, it's like, oh, that is, oh, that timing. Oh. Too many JRPGs. Yeah, I'm going to buy that on release. I don't think I'm going to be able to play it before Xenoblade 3 comes out because I want to play that on stream. I mean, I think that we'll be able to finish Xenoblade 2 before Xenoblade 3 for sure. But I don't know if we're going to have time for a full blown RPG before the before Xenoblade 3. Line spot. Okay, watch this. Careful now. There isn't anything after Xenoblade 3 right now so far for me. I'm trying to think. I feel like I had some other things on on my list. But I can't remember. That was a nice change of pace. We need to find some tougher Oh, Soul time. Hackers. That's right. I literally pre-ordered the collector's edition for that. This is an area <laughs> where I excel. Soul Hackers. Yeah, Triangle Strategy. Well, Triangle Strategy and Octopath did really well. <laughs> triangle Strategy was great. I loved that game. Leave it to me. You forgot about it. It's so good. I loved it. That one I played off stream. I'm glad that I did because that was a great, that was a great adventure. You just bought Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> oh no. The way the number is getting bigger on my compass, I hope I'm going the right way. Yeah, Crisis Core, yep. Splatoon? Um, I'm definitely excited for that one. In fact, I'm using the Splatoon controller. <laughs> that game is great. Oh, Zenless Zone Zero. I don't think Zenless Zone Zero is coming out this year. I think that Star Rail is coming out this year, but Zenless Zone Zero I don't think is going to be this year. I think it's going to be next year. What is going on with this with this insect? It, it's tripping me out. I feel like it's flashing a lot. Hello? I don't like the wings. Remember to follow me. What is going on with those wings? Time for a Zeke special. 
That was a bad time to do the to do this, I guess. My bird. She wants to borrow my Switch at work, so I can I may use this use to oh to get the Animal Crossing Switch. Heck yeah! It just bugs me. Yeah, it's really bugging me. <laughs> We. I was on hold on the phone and Baxter Boys was the hold music. I love that. Is this where I came from? The way that I don't remember. <laughs> That's where I came from? Okay. No, 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 no. I want to be over there. I'm about to jump. Great to be quarters of guard. <laughs> the way that I ignored that. Huh? No, but look. Leave it to me. I know quite a bit. Are oh, you gonna get some coffee? Oh. I thought you were well, I guess we're going to we're going to Disney, right? So Oh. Yeah, I guess we'll see. Whoo! No, it's okay. Don't run into yeah, we'll see. This is a UM. Refulgent, that's so sweet. Thank you so much for 10 months. I appreciate the support. I'm really glad that I was help I was I was helpful for your uh, <laughs> your your work and stuff. That's awesome. I'm glad. Also, thanks y'all for telling me the time. I appreciate it. I'm aware. I'm I'm keeping track. I want to try and get to the bottom here. Can we get a smash with only Xenoblade characters? That'd be really cool. Am I doing any damage? Oh, I am. Okay. Oh god, I thought she was gonna I literally thought she got like pushed off the edge. That was so scary. <gasps> oh my god. Look at us. Where is Zeke? Where is Zeke? Where is Zeke? 
Where is Zeke? <laughs> Did he fall? Oh my god, Zeke. Let me do it. Okay. Thanks, Nia. Go for it. I shall defend you. Out of my way. Must be more careful. I'm crying. Why not? Healing Halo. Give it up. Act twist. <laughs> no, not Nia getting launched. <laughs> Stop. Get up, get up, get up. He can't slow down. It's only us. Much obliged. Now we're skyping for you. Come on, nuclear blast! Come on! I wish Zeke was here. <laughs> Oh my god, we're about to mess this up. No, we're about to mess this up. It's all ruined. Where is he anyway? Is he really all the way down there? I cannot, I cannot believe this. Get, get away from the edge, Rex. The way I wish this game had rescue. Rex, I'm begging. Please. Get away from the edge. I guess I'm just gonna I just I'm just gonna go ahead and do this because I don't think that we can do anything else right now because we're suffering. Oh. Oh my god. I feel like I didn't really do anything. Ah. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm about to run. What if I ran? <laughs> what if I just ran? What if we just go? Like I was getting, I was getting kind of close to beating him, but like it would have taken so much longer. Oh my God. <laughs> we double approve of this, yes. Hey, look what I found. 
Congratulations. Okay, I think we're making it somewhere. I adore fishies. Yeah, so fishy, fishy, cute. I'm I am obsessed with that Ryan emote. It's so cute. <laughs> I love it. it. In my Every day I wake up and I miss Ryan. Sometimes when I'm working out and I have to do like jumpy things, in my mind, I'll hear Ryan. Ali. Okay, how much farther do we have to go? Do you, do y'all think? Cause it's now 308 and I should probably get back to work. What a bunch of jokers. I made it. Okay, so then like, so it's just like a straight forward walk. I can beeline to it. I can try. Game is installed, Anon. Have so much fun. I did a lot of progress. It's probably going to trigger a cutscene. Yeah, I can see it triggering a cutscene. We probably should stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's stop here because I don't want, like, to get to the cutscene and then it's suddenly four o'clock. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to save. You bought Final Fantasy X. Iroh, I thought you were looking at two games. It sounds like you've bought three so far. <laughs> and then a big fight. Okay, cool. All right, perfect. Okay, so that is going to be it for today's stream. Thank y'all so much for being here. I appreciate it. If y'all want to watch more of this playthrough, I will be continuing it on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern. No streams over the weekend. I'm going to be, I'm going to be playing Somnium Files over the weekend. So... Uh, if you have not already joined our Discord, make sure to join so you can get notified in there when I go live. Also, my weekly schedule will be up as well on Sunday so you can see what days I'll be live, what time, and stuff like that. So make sure to join. Um, follow me on Twitter for gaming things and other things. Me screaming on the internet on Twitter about video games and stuff. <laughs> Uh, you can also sub to my fan house if you haven't already for $3 and you can see my unboxings of figures, of gaming things, uh, vlogs, stuff like that. I've been taking some workout pictures, things and stuff. Um, it is a safer work platform though. So like, I don't have any like spicy photos or anything like that. Um, what else? Uh, I'm trying to think.